Hi everyone, let's solve today's daily challenge that is number of ways to paint n cross 3 grid. So now let's see what the question is. So you have a grid of size n cross 3 and you want to paint each cell of the grid with exactly one of the three colors, red, yellow or green, while making sure that no two adjacent cells have the same color. That is no two cells share the vertical horizontal size of the same color. Now, given n number of rows of the grid, return the number of ways you can paint this grid. As the answer may grow large, the answer must be computed modulo 10 raised power n plus 7. All right. So the question is, uh, we are first of all given n cross 3 grid. What does an n cross 3 grid means? That means the number of rows, the number of rows is n and the number of columns is 3, which is constant. So basically here, these are the rows, right? So you can have n number of rows and the columns are going to be 3 only, right? So this is what um, kind of grid we are given, all right? Now, what we are being told is that uh, we only have, uh, we are also given three colors, right? And each of these cell can be painted with any of these colors. Now, the only thing is that we want to paint this grid in such a way that no vertical or horizontal sides have the same color. So basically no two adjacent cells, right? So adjacent cells means for this cell, this is an adjacent cell and this is an adjacent cell, right? So both these cells, they must have a different color. That is it. That is all we want to, you know, avoid. And what we want to do is we need to return the number of ways we can paint this grid. All right. Okay. So that is what the question is. All right. Now let us, I hope the um, question is clear. Yeah. Now let us try to, you know, simulate this for, um, n is equal to 1, right? So you see n is equal to 1. And let me just call these uh, colors as 1, 2, 3, okay? Now, if you see if n is equal to 1, which means this is the uh, grid, all right? So one number of row and three number of columns. So how many ways can I paint this grid, right? Now, there can be two possibilities here, okay? That either from out of these colors, I use only two colors to paint it, or I use three, all of these three colors and paint it, right? So there can be two colors or three colors that I can use. And I will have to use at least two colors. The reason is no two adjacent cells must be having the same color, right? All right. Now let's try to see for if we are using only two colors out of one, two and three, how many possibilities are there? And if we are using three colors, then how many number of possibilities are there, right? So let's start with two colors. So N is equal to one. This is we are doing for specifically for this case only okay for two colors let's see so let's say i am using one and two only right now so one two one okay this is one possibility two one two this is one possibility right then um let's say i use two and three so two three two is one possibility three two three is another possibility then let's say i use one and three so then one three one or three one three is the possibilities if I use one or three, right? So you see, we have six number of possibilities if we are using two colors, right? Let's see if I use three colors, then what are the number of possibilities? So that means, um, let's say we start with one. So with one, I can have either one, two, three combination or one, three, two combination, right? Let's say if I start with two, so with two, let's say uh, I can have either one, three or two, three, one combination. Similarly, if I start with three, then I can have this or this combination again. There are six possibilities. So in total, how many possibilities do we have? So total number of possibilities is six plus six, which is nothing but 12. So we have possible 12 ways to paint this grid. All right. Okay. So now I hope um, with this example, the question is uh, completely clear to you. Now let's see how we can solve this question. Now for this question, you are seeing... We are trying to, you know, um, go into all possibilities, right? All possibilities. And whenever there is a question of, uh, you know, exploring all possibilities, we often use recursion, right? We often use recursion. For this question as well, we will have to use what? Recursion. All right. But if you see the constraint, so, um, all right, I'll not attach the screenshot, but if you go and see within the problem, the constant is n less than equal to 5000. 
n less than equal to 5000 so if you simply use recursion right it will be a very big um you know um value right when n is 5000 there will be multiple combination and again the time complexity would be kind of exponential but but still we will see right so the only way right now we see to solve this question is using recursion because obviously we have to try out all the possibilities right all right but the question is how will we do this recursion right so in order to do this recursion we'll have to first figure out uh, right, what kind of uh, recurrence formulas that we will be writing here so if you see when we worked out this example what did we do first thing is we figured that how many colors can i use so we it's always going to be three colors that are given here red yellow or green right now when we calculated for this we said that we can either use two colors right or we can either use three colors now let's try to do this with this example where n is equal to two okay so then we also have another row that we have to look out for cool so for the um very first row if you see um the number of possibilities can be any out of this all right so that is one thing that we know that for the very initial row whenever we are starting the recursion the number of possibilities to create that row is going to be 6 plus 6 so if we are taking two color combination then these possibilities we are taking three color combination then these possibilities now i can choose either one of these possibilities or one of these possibilities for the initial row right so right so um my initial row can be either a two color row or a three color row all right okay so let's say what if my initial row is a two color row in that case how many possibilities can i have let's just choose let's say my initial row is one two one this is what i chose right so here it is one two one <clears throat> so in that case again for this i can either use for the next row two color combination or a three color combination right what if i use a two color combination so i already have an initial row as one two one so let's try to figure okay so if i have one two one so below it i cannot have two again and i am only having two colors okay so if i'm only having two colors i can either have a two here so one possibility is two one two all right so then we will not be having same adjacent colors right then um let's say i use uh, three and one so in that case what are the possibilities in that case i can have three one three we are only using two colors okay just see um or we can have um three two three as another possibilities apart from this do we have any other possibilities we don't right um if i were to use one and three i've already used one and three this is the only combination that we can have for two one two and for three two three so basically in total when you have chosen a two color uh initial row the next row if you are again choosing to you know color it with two colors then these are the possibilities similarly similarly let us see for three color right now if i am using three colors and uh, looking at this row then i can obviously not use one here and not use one here so one i can only use in between so one two and three and the other combination is three one two apart from this there is no other combination that we can have for this right so for three colors we can have two possibilities now if i just simply add for this two right i can get the answer for all the possibilities that are possible here now what if my initial row is a three color row what if i choose a three colored possibility from here okay then again the next row can be either two color can be created with either two colors or three colors right so again we create these two blocks let's see if we let's just choose one from here right let's say i choose two three one with two three one let's see what possibilities we can have for two colors here if we are using two colors then um let's say if i'm using one and two okay one and two i cannot use at all i can use three and uh one so if i use three and one it will be one um uh, no 
that won't also be a possibilities okay with two colors right okay here we can have three here we can have three and here we can have one this is one possibility right so we can have three one three was one possibility here another possibility is if i'm using two colors is i can have a two here and i can have a three here all right so basically whatever is in between you just try to place um you know that on the sides and uh, one color in between right so these are the two possibilities that we can have for two color for three color let's see what possibilities we can have we can have one two three as one possibility right or we can have three two one as another possibilities apart from this i don't really see any other possibilities here okay all right so these are the possibilities that we have if we are choosing three color or two color so now you see for the recursion how can we write the recursion for this recursion can look something like this obviously these two will be combined in one recursion so it will be f of two um sorry f of whatever row we are on right initial this is the initial row right and we can have either two color combinations that we will check for two colors or for three colors right f of row three color combinations that we are seeing right so this is the total number of recursion but within these two recursions also what are the number of possibilities we have so with two color right f of row two color if we are giving then what are the possibilities so with two colors we will have three possibilities with three colors we will have this many possibilities so it is going to be f of row minus one comma two color with two color how many possibilities we saw three right so into three plus f of row minus one with three color how many possibilities we see into two so this is the recurrence for this and f of row for three color what will it look like it will look like f of row minus one and if i'm using two colors the number of possibilities is two and if i'm using three colors then the number of possibilities is going to be this right so we are simply returning this from the recursion but how do we calculate this f of row two color we calculate like this f of row three color we calculate like this right so i hope the recurrence is now clear so this is the way that you can you know write the recursion for this right so i hope the a way that we can use a recursion for this is clear but now if you see if you um i would want you to you know go ahead and try to dry run a case for n is equal to 2 and create a recursion tree out of this what you will notice here is that there are overlapping overlapping sub problems that means within the recursion we will be noticing the same things calculated multiple times there will be multiple redundant recursive you know calls okay so what we can do is we can reduce those recursive calls by memoizing it right now how will i memoize it obviously i'll be using a dp table right so then this problem becomes something of tp right and it's a very standard dp problem i do not know why the tag here is hard but yeah i, I hope you understand you can simply memoize this recursion code and write a dp for this a memoize dp all right so let's see how we will do the memoization as well so i have pulled this uh, particular code for the memo to show the memoization and recursion code to you right so you, if you see this is the recursive call here right now um what is i that is being passed here this is the current row that we are on what is p p is nothing but this two color and uh, three color combination that we are talking so it's a variable to basically store this so how are we storing it we are storing it like zero or one so zero represents a two color combination and one represents a three color combination and what is this vector this is a 2d dp vector that we are creating for the memoization okay all right now if you see within the recursion this is the base condition that is uh, when you reach the last row obviously there is only one possibility so you return one then here you are checking or you are basically doing the memoization right so you are checking whether within dp of i that for that particular row and that particular color combination do we already have a value right we already seen this recursion before if yes just simply return how many number of ways 
are stored within dp of i and p right then so basically what with this call uh, with this uh, two lines that we are doing this memorization we are you know saving us from these recursive calls right that is all okay now here we are doing the recursion that we talked about here is a there's a little optimization obviously um so what we have done is basically we have calculated dp of i and p and um, we are calculating here if you see for these two right for these two possibilities there is one thing common that um for these possibility you are going to have row minus one two color into three right but if you see this much possibility is common in both right so there is additional one a uh, possible one recursive call that you have to do for this two color combination apart from that rest of the you know calls you can directly do from here so that is what we are doing here we have simply optimized this um so what we are doing is for this particular two color combination we are you know doing a recursive that extra recursive call here and before that we are calculating um for two color and three color here right so here one minus p we have passed to simply figure that if p is zero obviously we are going to be calling for uh three color and if p is one then we'll be calling for two color from here right all right so um this way what we are basically doing is uh otherwise we would have to you know write p equal equal to zero and write the recursive calls and uh, we would have to write p equal equal to one and write the recursive calls and those would have been you know around four recursive calls so instead we have you know saved us that one recursive call so that is one little optimization that we have done here all right then um you see then we are re simply returning dp of i and p and here is the basic initial um call so initially we had discussed that uh, there can be you know six possibilities right here for the initial row so that is what we are returning here right into six and into six and then within from that recursion we are using these formula right that is for subsequent rows so i hope this memoization approach is clear to you this will work but the time complexity for this one is big of n only because we are only you know iterating for n rows and space complexity for this is also of n right because we are having this 2d vector that where we're storing this okay now can we optimize this further yes what we can do is build a bottom-up approach right this is top down dp that we just discussed right now in bottom up what we are saying is um, we will go from we'll simply reverse this right that we are having for three color combination so we say with this particular combination what is the next row that i can create okay instead of saying that uh, with this color combination this is the initial row basically from the um, next color combination figure what can be the values for the current row what can be the possibilities for the current row that is going to be your bottom up dp now let us see how we will do that so here if you see the bottom up approach what we are doing is essentially the same that we are doing within this recursion right within this memoization but it's bottom up right so basically instead of uh, you know coming from upside down we are moving this way right from the um this particular row the next row we are trying to calculate how many possibilities we can have for the current row all right so that is all that we are doing so what we are doing in the bottom up if you see this termination case this becomes the initial um you know um columns for our dp table so that is what we have created here right so for dp of n minus 1 0 n minus 1 1 is equal to 1 then what are we doing we are looping from n minus 2 till i is greater than equal to zero and i minus minus and we are again just look at this recursive call that we were having here we have simply you know um in the dp table we are storing these possibilities only right then for the next one for the next possibilities that is what if we have one here then we are saving those amount of possibilities and then what are we returning we are returning the base case into six plus the next base case into six basically this is the initial row zero is the initial row that we are starting from right this initial row so what we are doing is building the rows from here all the way up to the top and returning all the rows here all right so this is the bottom up approach that you can use to solve this particular question so i think the question is clear now let me know what you think if there are any doubts please feel free to ask in the comment section thank you